So I wasn't recording my audio. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's Eye. How the devil are you? Let's do this intro again, shall we? <laughs> hey, thank you so much for the blobs. By the way, the blobs. I opened up the gift. There was no audio, but mate, thank you. These are incredible. Absolutely. The shadow blob and the Rambo blob. So damn cute. Look, look at you. Look at you. I'm so sorry that I haven't been uploading the last three days, okay? I have had, my, my, my phone went, that was my sister. My sister and my mum have, have, have come down. It was the first time my mum's come down to Newquay in four years. So uh, basically, yeah, I've been, I've been with them, okay? And I couldn't upload, I couldn't upload last time. In fact, I sat down to record a video yesterday and then do 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 hi! Today's not a Sunday fun day because like I say, we've missed them. So we're doing today as a, a freaky deaky. Today we are looking at a little channel Good Lord Darkness. Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing. It's an up-and-coming channel, mate. All right? It's a bloody good channel. So make sure you do, please. He's, he's on 2.8K subs. Uh, th this video is called Five Scary Ghost Videos That Should Never Have Been Found. Without further ado, die daily day. Let's do this. Shh. God, Lord Darkness. Darkness. Oh, is this the highlights? Whoa. Whoa. Number the five. The backyard demon. The backyard demon. Our first clip today comes from the TikTok channel All Day Every Day. It's every day bro. All Day Every Day lives <laughs> on a large property with a stretch of land that has multiple sheds and storage spaces. This means that there is plenty of space for unwanted beings to hide. Mm. One night his wife wakes him up because she says she heard some banging noises coming from one of their sheds. So naturally, all day every day goes to investigate and records for his own safety and at see what was out there. I wonder if he's home all day every day. Something banging around and making noise in one of our sheds. I'm not really sure what to expect. Maximum property please! I'm gonna go check it out. Mate, that ain't, that's a forest and not a backyard, that's a forest! In the middle. Oh! <laughs> Look at you. That was legs, mate. That was bloody legs. Shh, 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 shh. Shh, Oh, mate. Oh, mate. No! In case you didn't see, through the slates of the wall, we can see a pair of legs walk past the outside of the shed. But when all day runs after it, nobody is there. That is until he sees a black silhouette escaping what through is that gate. It looks like I had a really skinny neck. All day states that he informed the authorities to no help, yet on another night, his wife is awoken to more noises outside once again. I thought someone was playing in our back shed. I hope not, because it's almost falling apart. It wouldn't be very safe. Martha, but get my gun! Let's have a look around, see if any of the neighborhood kids are messing around or anything. Let me get quiet here for a second. Shush! Holy shit, mate! It's Bailey there, look at you! Oh! Oh my fuck! Oh mate, ima oh mate, imagine seeing that in the dead of night! In your bloody shed, mate! Huh? What? 
Wait, wait, what's it doing, Billy? Reading a book up there or something? Out to be a shadow bastard? Oh, fucking hell. The... Huh? What the actual F is going on here, mate? Look at you. Look at the state of you. Once he is in the shed, he pans the camera around and eventually looks up at the ceiling where we can what? see- What? What the hell? What? Your horrifying black shadow figure standing on the- Oh, mate. I mean, like, I don't care who you are, mate. If that was legit and you went out into your shed and you saw that, mate. Motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. Poor planks of the ceiling. At this is that your underpants there, though? Or is that like a shadow from this casting? Point. Have you, have you got your thong on? Baby! That thong, 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 say I like the way. He turns around and runs away. Sh shadow bastard with a thong. As as he can. There's been no further updates since this video, so I hope everything is fine with him and his wife. But is what he saw something paranormal? The shed was supposed to be falling apart, so I don't know how the wooden beams could have sustained an adult. It doesn't, I mean, those beams may look pretty damn hardcore, to be fair. It doesn't look like it's falling apart. There's no, there's no bowing, you know? There's no mold. Adults wait, but unless we get any more updates or information, I guess we will never know. Ooh, ooh okay, we're starting off for a good one. The Unseen The guest. Unseen Guest. T.I. Kiwi lives at home with her two- Oh bollocks, what have I done? And lives a pretty normal life, making entertaining videos and lives on TikTok. But T.I. says that she feels a strong spiritual attachment to the cats that she lives with, mm. almost like she knew them in a the past life. Ooh. So she purchased some motion detecting cameras to see how her cats acted when she was out of the house. This turned out to be a bad purchase because of the things that she saw on them. One day when she was away from home, she captures this. What are we looking at, mate? Camera detects movement? Oh, mate, this is sketchy as shit, but nothing is seen. Oh no, fuck off, mate. I hate shit like that. I hate it like that, mate. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hey, look at the chicken. Is that a sound effect or is that still the noise going on in that bloody apartment? The camera picks up invisible things that cannot be seen, and strange growling noises can be heard throughout the video that doesn't sound too much oh. like cats to me. Steadily the activity in her house has become more potent, and the strange events that had happened beforehand had only been captured when T.I. was out of the house, but have now started to occur when she is home. T.I. is home alone when her camera Picks up this. Oh Christ, here we go. Buckle up, mate. Because this is going to be freaky deaky. I can feel it in my bloody bones. Oh, fucking hell. Let, let me just, let me just go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Shush, shush. Look, on the left hand side of the screen. Okay, over here. What the fuck was that, mate? Was it a claw? It was like a claw. And then, only minutes later, when she is on her sofa. She's totally oblivious. Are you fucking kidding me? Ooh, I'm just 
just throw up all over that coffee table, mate. Bleah, all over the cat. Just licked my mic. Just go in there and fly and kick it. It seems, this seems, seems legit, mate, okay? <laughs> this seems legit, all right? <laughs> A little bit too real. <laughs> now, T.I. tells us that she usually keeps all of her windows shut because of her cats. So this couldn't... That cat's looking there as well. ...have possibly been a draft. This was the first creepy event that she had experienced firsthand. And it seems it keeps going downhill for her. And unfortunately, her mental health has been suffering. Now this was the event that finally Hang got. On, lad. All right, chill out, right? You've seen a rolling ball and a door open. Just, just calm down a little bit, all right? Don't go too fucking extreme, all right? Just go outside, and get a little walk around. Fuck me, huggled up on a bloody couch now, like with a towel around you because of a door opened up. Could have been the wind, lad, all right? Got her to ask others for. <laughs> the fucking wind is in my head. In. Huh? Oh. Fly and kick it. Fly and kick it now. Oh my god, mate. This is absolutely fucking horrible, man. This is horrible. Leave the goddamn door alone! Oh shit! Mate, that's legit. That cat ain't having it. That cat's like, Did you see what just see what I've just seen? Yeah. Ain't having the shit. We gotta move out, love. We gotta move out right right now, like yesterday. Sent on the door, cat. Huh? Huh? Oh, fucking hell. I, I, I would, I would have just gone through the air like ah! multiple shadow bastards hitting my foot. Ah! Then I would have just been like, get the F out. Oh, now you're just going to piss it off. Oh, mate, imagine if she bent down then. There was something behind her, just like that. Oh, fucking hell, mate. Ben, why do you do that shit to yourself? Gonna go again, and then yeah. is it? No, she's put the bed forward, didn't she? Once again, the door starts to move on its own. Even her pet cat seems wary of whatever was in there as it jumps off of the bed and out of the room. Once again, the windows in this house were all shut, and T.I. can't seem to explain this event, making her more stressed than ever. But as usual, it's up to you guys to investigate this. <clears throat> Is this woman the victim of some weird paranormal activity? I... I... Maybe, mate. I'm saying this seems pretty damn legit. 
because what else could this possibly be? Ooh, and the noises as well? <gasps> Number three. The, gr the grudge the house. The grudge house. House. The grudge house. Our next video comes from the popular Japanese ghost hunting channel, Clip Store. Now apparently a viewer of theirs asked the team to investigate this supposedly haunted house. The viewer says that the neighbours are afraid of the house and have nicknamed it the House of the Grudge. Also, all of the previous owners of the house have met deaths under unexplainable- Oh fucking hell mate, look at you! Look at you! Just fucking look at you! Shit in hell! There's something about that, mate. There's something about that that messes me up. But again, there's there's something that turns me on about it. I don't know what it is. It's weird. It's so fucking weird. I don't know what it is. <laughs> ...circumstances. Now, the viewer also states that they have since abandoned the house after him and a group of friends experienced some intense paranormal activity whilst inside. So let's see what he finds inside the house Oh, the fuck grudge. it, no, I take it back, mate. I take it back. Look at you. I take it back. Oh, do you see that bit, mate? Yeah. I think it's because I like long black hair. Maybe. that That's okay. Long, long black hair. That's I, maybe it's something to do with that. I'm not too sure. Quarter to six, and shit's gonna go down. Footsteps. Footsteps above? Flip flops, please. Not flip flops. Slippers, whatever. Oh, mate, if it just starts coming down the stairs, like. Flipping hell, man. Where are you going? I'm just filming a video. It's 
gonna happen. Oh, mate. Bell rings? It's calling you, mate. It's calling you. Now you've got to go. Like, you've got to... You've got to go downstairs. It's like, that, that's the worst thing. You you can choose... If you think she's upstairs, you can choose to go upstairs. But the front door is downstairs, right? But now you're upstairs and the bell's downstairs. You know that she's downstairs. So you have to go downstairs in order to get out the front fucking door. That's freaky. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to go to What? What's going on? Oh, it's going to be behind you. It's going to be behind you. Get it, get it! It's going to be behind you, mate. It's going to be behind you. Fucking hell. The teen is alone downstairs when they hear loud footsteps coming from the upper floors of the house. This is very odd because this house was supposed to now be abandoned. He goes upstairs to investigate, yet when he gets there, he hears the sound of a bell coming from downstairs uh -huh. in the room that he had just left. He quickly checks every other room in the house for anyone else who could have snuck in without him seeing, but as expected, he finds absolutely no one. However, whilst he was walking down the stairs, we can see for oh! a split second something bone chilling. If you look closely, a pair of ghostly legs can be seen somehow dangling oh, from the shit! ceiling right behind the cameraman. It looks like it was a good job that the crew got out when they did, because I don't think any of them were aware. How can you time that stuff, mate? of the potential spirit in their presence. But what do you guys think of this? Was this the grudge girl the locals named the house after? Oh, or something completely man. different? Imagine coming home and editing that shit and seeing that, mate. <laughs> hey? Oh, okay. Thought, let me know what Jesus, you think in mate. the comments down below. Maximum chicken, please. Number three. Laundry room, the room. Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Sent in from one of you guys, I unfortunately do not have a source for the next set of clips. However, they are still nonetheless terrifying. <laughs> the story here is that a young girl is living. Fucking you twat! Remember the little girls? Hey, gotta kill you. And that bloody thing, mate. at home with her family and regularly experiences what they call poltergeist activity. In fact, it had been happening so much that she has started to document the events on her phone to show everyone she was telling the truth about her home. In this first clip, she is home alone with her cat when this happens. I, 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 I think the, the moral of the story here is if you've got a cat, you're going to be bloody haunted, right? So don't get cats. Mason? Ooh, cats like... Are you, I, oh, she, go on. Look at that cat Rambo in it. Let's go. Mason? Oh, shit. <laughs> Mason? Look at that cat's eyes, mate. That's hardcore. Mason. Mason. The girl 
clearly thinks that one of her siblings is home and calls after them, yet when she enters the room, it is completely empty. Then, one day she is down in the laundry room by herself, and this happens. Well, why, why is that thing Oh! <sighs> Hello? Hello? Shush! Okay. This side of the basement always freaks me out. Yeah, I wonder why. Look at the state of it, Hello? mate. Hello? <gasps> that was a breath! Oh my god. Oh! I know, I know. I just... I just stopped that thing. Now these clips were certainly creepy, however, this next clip stands out the most to me. Here we bloody go. The girl was doing dance practice in their living room, when she sees this out the corner of her eye. Bloody hell, you, you're good love, you're bloody good! <laughs> oh fuck it! No! What?! Jesus. No. What, what is that? Is that a dress? Maximum enhancement, please! If you saw it, a pale white shape can be seen moving in the doorway for a brief moment before disappearing. Now, I don't know what to make of this as there is so little information. However, I hope that this family has gotten some spiritual help to rid their home of this spirit, but it looks like this is another story that will remain a mystery. <sighs> I don't know, the, the, the sheet seemed a little bit like, I don't know, like you're holding up a white sheet and just doing that and bring it down lower. I don't know, it's weird, that was weird. But she's a very good dancer. Number one. It's free. It's free. Real, Real estate. estate. Our next video is from a man working in real estate. He is in an empty house recording and taking photos. But ain't, that ain't gonna be sold, is it? To send back to his company when some odd things start to happen around him. Watch and see. This dude is shit in it. I've seen a real estate one before where he goes in trying this. I don't know if this is the same one. I don't remember it. Is that a noise coming from the toilet? Mate, you're never gonna sell this shit, this house. You're never gonna sell it. That toilet is breathing. Oh, mate, 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 mate. Mate! Whilst in the bathroom, the door slams shut behind him, clearly shocking the man. Now it's possible that a draft could have caused this. A draft? A hurricane maybe, mate? 
This guy is freaking right out right now. Yet the force of which the door was slammed, it doesn't seem likely. Also, as soon as this happens, another door in the house can be heard slamming itself shut. Now was this a case of the paranormal, or something even worse? Maybe there was an actual person in there with him mm, I don't think so. that the man did not notice. Ooh. Let me know what you thought of this Ooh, clip. Mate, and these all were good. These clips. There you go, mate. They were pretty darn good. Pretty darn good, mate. What did you reckon, do you reckon they're all real, some real, all fake, some fake? Huh? What do you think? Anyway, man, thank you so much for watching. If you did like the videos, please leave a little like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Get the merch at kaspersite.com. Just Rambo it.